Um, are you ready to make the cutest spring bunnies you ever saw? Yeah, I thought so. Let's do it. We're gonna start with our plain piece of paper that we're gonna draw our bunnies on. We are gonna fold it once and a half this way, and then I'm going to fold it once a half, once and half the other way. Um, you don't have to make a really crisp, sharp fold, but um, just enough so that when you open it up, we can see where the center of our page is. I like to know where the center of my paper is because bunnies have those big ears that go to each um, corner of that paper. So I wanna make sure I'm drawing the top of my head, just the rounded part right at that middle point. Then I can go in and draw a big curve up to that corner and another big curve that goes up um, and meets that top corner. They don't have to be perfect. It's fine if they have little bumps and wiggles. Bunny's ears have those too. And then we're going to do almost exactly the same on the other side, um, going just up to the other corner and going just below the midpoint line and connecting those ears. I'm extending the head. I'm gonna have you guys do the same with me. And we're just starting to make the top of that bunny's head. Then I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna do a big circle, kind of extending even kind of out past the side of that line because bunnies have those big, beautiful eyes. So I'm gonna do match, uh, try to match the same size on each side for the eyes. Then I'm gonna go in and draw another circle inside of each one of the eyes for the pupils of the bunny. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna go in and draw two more small little circles for the reflection in those eyes. So another thing that makes me completely obsessed with bunnies is their long, beautiful eyelashes. Like they really have these long eyelashes. So I'm gonna do three long ones on the top of each eye. They've got these long ones that almost like extend outwards from their heads. And then I'm gonna do lower lashes, which are just like a little bit shorter on each side. And I'm gonna curve the top ones up and the bottom ones are gonna kind of turn, curve down or to the side. Okay, those bunnies also have those cute chubby cheeks that I just love. So this is the lower half of the face. I'm gonna kind of bell them out into big like rounded curves for those big cute cheeks. And then we're just gonna join it on the bottom. I kind of do a little dip for the chin, um, but we're gonna kind of add some other details after and and you're gonna see how that comes together. So next I'm gonna add the bridge of the nose. I put my pencil right by that lower part of the ear and I do a big kind of curved line down just past the eyes. Then I'm gonna connect the two with a little nose shape. Bunnies have kind of little pointy noses, like kind of rounded points, so that's what we're gonna try to do. Remember, draw light until you know it's right. If you make a mistake, you can always erase it. That's why we're using pencil at this point. Now we're gonna draw the rounded mouth of the bunny. So I start at the side of the nose and draw kind of like a round, kind of just over a half circle on either side of the nose. And at the bottom, it didn't quite match up, but that's okay because as I draw this second circle, um, when we outline it in black Sharpie after, we're gonna cover up those lines that kind of don't match up. And for his actual little bunny lips, I do one J shape down one side of his little mouth area, and then a backwards J shape the other way. And that gives that cute little animal lip. 
And for the final part of this stage of our bunny project, we just do a curved line on each side just for his little bunny shoulders. Okay, so now we're gonna add the guidelines for all that beautiful textured bunny fur lines that we're gonna draw. And I'm gonna show you how and where I want those lines. So I'm gonna start with the ears. Um, I want you guys to follow along with me. I am going to fit about eight lines down this ear, um, but it's up to you how big your bunny ears are. So they're slightly curved, and I'm gonna go all the way down both ears. I wanna make sure that I have the same amount of lines on one ear to match the other ear. on to that bridge of his nose in between those two lines we drew earlier and you're gonna add them right down to his little nose and then you are going to connect the side ones I kind of curve them up a little bit but it's up to you uh, the shapes you want on your bunny there but we need those lines on either side matching the other side All right, and then I do the lines for the cheeks. I stop at that mouth circle, skip over it, match it on the other side, and continue those lines. And then you just draw the last ones along the body and shoulders of our bun bun. Okay, this part is optional if you'd like it, but I think it adds a really nice little detail to your bunnies. Right along the edge of the ear, I drew a little sidewalk to kind of show where the bunny's ear kind of folds over. Um, so I drew kind of a little sidewalk matching the edge of my ear shape all the way to the top and then matching down the other side. Now, when I'm using my Sharpie and creating my lines in, in that section, I'm going to be doing a diagonal, more um, close together line that's going to be different than the lines I have on the interior of the ear. Um, that shows that the fur looks a bit more thick and a bit of a different texture than the other spots on the ear. So we're going to switch our tools over to our Sharpies now, our permanent black markers. Ugh, this one looks a little bit dry. Uh, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick another marker, um, which you can do as well. Uh, so you're going to grab another marker and you're just going to outline all around the outside of your bunny. And you're going to see all the spots that I outline. sure you're taking care and making sure your lines are pretty even and dark and not scribbly take your time on the outline this looks like I'm going really fast but it's sped up times two okay we're finally gonna add some of that fur texture into our ears I'm gonna start with the inside ear of my bunny and I just start with little ticks or dashes down in each one of those guideline sections that we drew with our pencil. Guys, I don't want you to start at the top and do one line all the way down. This is gonna show individual textures kind of looking like, um, looking like little, um, little pieces of their fur. So I want them each section to have those little dashes, but it goes quick, don't worry. Okay, so I'm gonna skip ahead just now to show you the, that edge of the ear. I'm gonna use these little diagonal ticks. They're going in a bit of a di different direction than the inside of the ear. And those are lines are closer together. That's gonna show that the fur is a bit more dense there and it looks darker when they're closer together. Obviously they look lighter when they're further apart.
when you get down to his cute little nose on mine i did the dashes closer together and smaller dashes so that the nose has a bit of a different um, color than the rest of the fur When you get to the rounded mouth area, skip over it, just like we did when we were drawing those lines earlier. We're gonna be drawing our lines in a different direction in that nose section. So right around his cute, right in there, yeah, right in his cute little mouth area, I'm gonna do almost like short little whiskers on either side. And then I'm gonna do them rounded with that shape of the mouth in each one of those sections. Now that that bun bun is all finished being drawn, we can start work on the background. So I'm gonna use a water-based marker like Crayola Washables, and I'm gonna pick some spring flower colors. I like a light green for kind of the stems and leaves and the flowers. Um, so yeah, that's my selection of colors that I chose. So remember that your bunny is gonna cover a lot of the area of your background. So you're just going to want to kind of, I mean, you can draw all over it. Just understand that you're, after you cut your bunny out, it's going to be glued on top. So it's going to hide some of those background flowers. Now, don't spend a lot of time drawing these flowers. As I was experimenting, I spent a lot of, a lot of time drawing the flowers. Um, but because we're going to be adding water after, it kind of has like a, a blurred water, watercolor uh, background effect. So... Don't spend too long on your flowers. Don't worry about how they look now. Just make sure you don't even have to color them in all the way because we'll be adding water on top of it and it kind of turns into that cool, beautiful watercolor paint. and dip it in my water and start adding it to my flowers uh, oops I'm adding way too much water here so don't do what mirrors did um, <laughs> you need to uh, go light on your water and build up because I'm losing a lot of the details of my flowers so the the lighter the water and the slower you go at adding water to each one of these the the nicer it'll be I think but I do like to spread the color so it color covers the white background. It's okay if there's little sections of white, but it's nice to have those beautiful bright spring colors in the background of those bunnies. Okay, so after we're done watercoloring up that background, we can cut our bun buns out of the paper. We're gonna do it quite, quite carefully, but I'm not going to get you to cut out each individual eyelash. You can just leave a little bit of white around that part. Then we're going to glue them on to those beautiful backgrounds when they're dry. And I just love it. These bunnies are so cute. Okay, I hope you guys had fun. Um, happy spring.